Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. In today's video, I'm going to be presenting Storage Camp Wigs. Here's my storage box right here. There's the little storage box. And these are the ones that I didn't love. These are the wigs I didn't love. So let's try a few on and see if we can change our mind. These are the wigs that I really didn't care for. Uh, I put into storage camp. So the first one is the Jacqueline. The Jacqueline by uh, Envy in Vanilla Butter. I like the color. The Jacqueline by Envy in Vanilla, in Vanilla Butter. I like the color just fine. It wasn't that. What I don't like about this wig is number one, the front. The front doesn't want to seem to do exactly right. Now, when I play with it, it really wants to go straight up in the air like this, like spiked. So you can do that with this particular wig. You can spice it up, spike it up, and you could do that with a little wig wax, if you like, and that will work. Or you can try to piece it out with a little sea salt spray. That's right there. This is by Aesthetica Sea Salt Spray. You can do stuff like that. You can use your little rat comb and go to work on that front like that if you want to, any way that you like. Now we look at the back and we see that the back comes down fairly long, but I'm not sure it's long enough to cover my long hairline. So if you're like me, you have a long hairline. I wore my hair long a lot when I was young and it just, I have a long hairline. That's all there is. So anyways, this one's not bad. This one is not terrible. It's a good little wig just to plop it on if the plumber comes by or the electrician or pest control or whatever you've got going. This one might work for you. So we might could save this one. I've got a little bit of my bio here trying to stick out. Right there. Yep. Still wants to come out. Still wants to come out and join in with this wig. But you can see that it pretty much covers my ears. Some of you don't like um, your ears showing. Others of you like me really don't care either way. It's just I don't know, not my preference. But anyways, this is the Jacqueline by Envy in Vanilla Butter. Okay, so that's the first one. She might come out of storage. She just might. She's not as bad as what I remember her to be. I remember her to be way shorter and um, problematic. So that's the first one. Now then... The second one that we're getting out of storage, just to have a look, is the Lizzie by Renee of Paris. There's Renee of Paris, the Lizzie in Strawberry Swirl. Strawberry Swirl. I don't remember what I didn't like about this one. When you've had wigs in storage, you need to give them a good shake. It could have been Strawberry Swirl color I really didn't care for. I don't know. This is another really short one, it seems. This is the Lizzie by Renee of Paris. And let's get into this one and see what we think. Well, first of all, it's another one that wants to be spiked. I mean, this one terribly wants to be spiked. So, you could use a little wig wax spray with this one and just let her fly. I mean, you could. You could do her this way. So, what do you think? I'm not especially enamored with this one. 
You can see the back. The back is a little scraggy. It's meant to be chopped. It's not meant to be smooth at all. In fact, I think the back is meant to be spiked up as well. So, right in there. It just feels like it wants to be spiked right there as well. It wants to just, so if you're the type that enjoys these kinds of spiky, what do you think? Hairdos? <laughs> you might like this one. This is the Lizzie by Renee of Paris. And this is in Strawberry Swirl. Strawberry Swirl was the color. I thought it was the color that I didn't like, but I don't think it's that. I think it's the spikiness that I'm not enamored with. I'm just not liking the spiky stuff too much. It's cute. It's cute, but probably not my favorite. So let's move on and find another one. So this is probably going to go back into storage camp fine. They're happy there. Now, the next one is the Cinch by Raquel Welch. See, I have them in bags. I put them in these little plastic bags. I lost the tag with this one, but I wrote down that it was the Cinch and Honey Ginger. So, somehow I lost the tag on this one. That happens. All right, let's give her a good shake. Let's give this little one a good shake. I don't know why I didn't like this one. This is Honey Ginger. It's got some length on it. Let's see what this one looks like. This is by Raquel Welsh. I like the way this one feels. This is in Honey Ginger. This is the little cinch wig that Raquel Welch makes. Still making them. Sells a bunch of them. She does. She sells a bunch of these cinch wigs. Now, this one seems This is the little cinch wig. I'm making up my mind. Um, it seems to come down longer on this side. Asymmetrical. This one seems shorter. What do you think about the cinch? This is Raquel Wells' cinch. She sells a lot of these wigs, these little cinch wigs. A lot of people like them because they're easy to wear. They're, you just plop them on. It's pretty much a plop it on and go wig. It's not going to give you a hard time. It's not going to be difficult to style. It does come down here in this cute little asymmetrical long piece while this one stays short on that side. Very, very cute. Very, very lovely. Kind of like it, really. This one, I like the color, the honey ginger. What do you think? Tell me what you think in the comments below about this one. Well, this is The Cinch by Raquel Welch. I think I'm going to leave this one out. I might let her live. <laughs> I might let her live. She's cute. So, that's that one. I've got two that I'm taking out so far, and only one that's going to return. 
The next one is the Natalie in the color Buttermilk. And this is by John Renault. John Renault, the Natalie in the color Buttermilk. I think it was the color on this one that I didn't like so much. The buttermilk color, I don't know. This is a petite, which is fine. I can go either way. I prefer the average. They feel better to me and they, they don't give me the headaches. Um, I suffer from migraines without the headaches, as a lot of you know. And if it, anything is too tight on my head, it's going to give me one of those little migraine things. Okay, so... There is the Natalie in Buttermilk. Well, this one I think is just too short for me. I don't like it as much. Um, I'm just not liking the color for one thing. Uh, it's got some kind of rooting, but I don't really care for it. So I'm going to put her back to sleep in the wig camp. I'm going to put her back. I'm making that executive decision, but I'm really not crazy about her at all. I always, what I'm doing here is getting rid of all the bubbles in the bag. Because you don't want the air in the bag. So it's two for two so far. Two for two. I have one more. We have one more. And this is Bend the Rules in Sugared Silver by Gabor. Bend the rules in sugared silver. Now, this is a beautiful silver. Look how pretty that is. Sugared silver. Bend the rules by Gabor. Give her a good shake. She's been in storage camp. That's right. All right. This one does have a lace front on it. She does have the lace front. She does. She does. All right. So this is the Bend the Rules wig. Not one of my favorites. Um, there's a lot of people that can wear this particular hairstyle and pull it off. I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. I don't care for this. I really don't. I could try and make some bangs with this one if I wanted and bend the rules even more. This is the bend the rules. And you can see that it comes really short here in back as well. And then it comes down on the side. So just not for me. Just not for me. The color doesn't suit me. <clears throat> Excuse me. The color does not suit me. The style does not suit me. But this is a beautiful wig. It does have a lace front, Velcro adjusters. There's the inside. You can see the lace front right there. Those are my fingernails, that pink. All right. This is a really pretty one, but not for me. Not for me, not for this girl. So I'm going to put her back in the bag. She just has not worked out for me. Bend the rules right with it. Close the bag back up. Just get the air out. 
And that's what we have. We are two for two. Well, we are three for two. I There are three rejects and two that I'm gonna bring back that I've changed my mind about. Now this is the Jacqueline by Envy and I'm gonna put her back on because I kind of like her. I kind of like the Jacqueline. You can work with her. You don't have to spike her up if you don't care for that, which I do not care for. So this is the first one I had on. And so I'm going to just put her back on for a moment because I think she's cute and I like her pretty much. Okay, now I wanna to talk to you about something else. Jesus is real. Jesus is real. He's a true story. He was born as a man to die on the cross for our sin. God raised him from the dead. Now, you can believe that story because the Bible tells us it's true. The Bible is the word of God and it is truth. It is truth. God cannot lie. He loves you so much. He wants you in heaven with him. So trust him today. Trust him today. Just pray and ask him into your heart. Tell him, Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sin. And I believe that God raised you from the dead. And you are Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Because that is who he is. Time is really, really short. He's coming back very soon. Any day now. Any day. So we don't know the day or the time that Jesus is coming back, but we know that it's really soon because the things that are going on in this world right now aligns perfectly with Revelation and some of the other Ezekiel um, and Daniel and Psalm 83 and some of the other uh, end time prophecies in the Bible. It all lines up perfectly. So we know that the end times are here. We're living in the end times, people. We're living in the end times. And he is coming back really soon. So take care of your business with Jesus. Take care of it right now. That's my story for today. We have recovered two wigs from the storage camp today. And three are sadly going back. Now, that's my story, and in tomorrow's video, I'm going to be presenting five wigs that I love. That's my story for today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.